Manus 80, the Infinity Saga, Iron Man. So this video is just going to focus on the figures from the first Iron Man movie, which is Tony Stark, Iron Man himself, and his Mark III armor. And Obadiah Stane, first uh, Marvel Legends, I believe, and Iron Monger, which is the first uh, MCU version. We've gotten the comic version before as a builder figure in the Iron Man 3 wave. Uh, right? Yes. So uh, presentation-wise, this packaging is nice. You know, the Infinity Saga is just... There's still... A ton of figures they can make from these uh the saga uh but i love this colorful montage of heck right there montage of characters fantastic you got the movie poster the movie they're from tony stark takes on the world's worst villains in the mark three suit a technological wonder equipped with a variety of stunning enhancements and upgrades fantastic piece we got more infinity saga art there awesome iron man i i have to be honest i wasn't looking forward to this iron man um uh, obviously this is a sealed one and it's for a friend i i went ahead and opened mine once i got that out of box i was in love with this figure uh and you know it was something i didn't consider missing from my collection an accurate mark three or anything like that but now that i have it i'm very happy to have it and i think it's a fantastic piece over over die stain again in packaging huge dude this is huge Beautiful, man. This looks fantastic. I cannot wait to bust this open. It's the same montage there. There we go. After a long stint as second in command of Stark Industries, Stain is eager to extract revenge on Tony Stark. It's for Ironmonger. Obadiah Stain suits up as a powerful Ironmonger to threaten Iron Man. All right, opening these now. Iron Man Mark III looking fantastic. Again, this figure out of package just uh, blew away. I had no expectations. I didn't care. Uh, but it quickly, like, just, I loved it. I loved it. I don't know what else to say. I think it looks fantastic. Let's get the light. Let's get the focus. This looks good, man. I just started my rewatch of the MCU like I do every year. Uh, this time I went in timeline order, and I don't like it. <laughs> So I think when I do my rewatch next year, I'll go ahead and start with Iron Man 1. Fantastic film. It was one of those films where if your friends didn't see it, you stopped what you were doing and you took your friends to see it, no matter how many times you saw that movie. But this looks fantastic. The sculpt is fantastic. I'm not getting any focus. Let's do this. Come on. There we go. Looking good. Again, multiple hands, uh, just repulsor blasting hands. Uh, this piece here is uh, wasn't on him in the package, so you can see it comes off here. It's good, and then you can put his little missiles. Nice little extra thing there. I don't know how this is going. I guess this is uh, missiles launched. I'll go ahead and put the other piece back on. It's nice. Everything fits on nicely. It's good. Hands. As you know how Marvel Legend hands are. So you can see what type of hinge it has. Up, down. Same with this one. No hinge at all. Like a lot of the Iron Mans lately. But the blasts do not have hinge. looking good again i couldn't tell you how many iron mans we have but again this was a welcome surprise to the collection you know the reds you know the golds looks great helmet decent enough there's some swirl in there from the paint you can see there weird it's not a nick it's actually very flat it looks like there's a nick or some type of lip or ding but it's very flat so Alternate head, old school Tony Stark, not nanotech. This is the flip up face mask. That's a decent sculpt. That's a decent paint job. Eyes are printed on nicely. This is good. I like this a lot, a lot, am I saying? Dark reactor painted nicely, nice whites, the blue outline. 
detail, sculpted detail on the back. Let's line this up. Good stuff. Focus is an issue for whatever. I just recorded another video and uh, it was fine, but now I don't know what's going on. Looking good. Uh, so the price point on this is a little more expensive. It's uh, the Infinity Saga is a reason for Hasbro to charge you a little bit more money on single carded figures. I believe this is uh, $26 on Amazon and Target. Plus some tax and all that stuff. Uh, he is a, a pretty tall figure. Uh, well, I'll compare him to Obadiah right now and all that. As for articulation, Seesaw, both heads are on. Focus first. Dumbbell, fantastic rotation. Okay enough to do a flight pose. It's good. Awesome. So you saw, look at the shoulders. Kind of extends out there. However, it does rotate. So you can see it's on a little flap there, but it does rotate with the arm as necessary. So I am turning it with my hand on there, but you can see if you come down, whatever, you get it. Bicep cut, double jointed elbows. I'm not bending. Maybe not. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Mine was a little tight. So these fisted hands do have the hinge. Wow, I don't know what happened there. Got super loose. Torso is decent. This part's a little strange. I can't tell if I can turn there or not. Legs out to there. There's a thigh cut, double. Do this first one bent so smoothly, uh, but there's like kind of like a ratchet inside there. So you can see this is pinless, bent smoothly, pin, kind of ratchety. It's there, there. Decent pivot. This is good. This is a good figure. Uh, oh, and look at that. Import style, drop down. You do get those big gaps, but it gives you some height on the character and allows for, you know, unnecessary or I mean, what are you going to do? Just recreate when he gets smacked around by the propeller on the helicarrier. That's not even from Iron Man 1. So it's almost unnecessary, but it is a welcome piece of articulation. Let's get Obadiah staying out. Obadiah Stain, close-up look of his head skull, played by Jeff Bridges. Fantastic looking, so we don't see him beyond the first Iron Man film. Nice accessory of the arc reactor. He rips out of Tony Stark. Nice pinky ring there. Ring there, suited body. Uh, I think this is a new one. However, this leads me to believe it isn't, since we got holsters and stuff there, but they did paint these uh, pins. These stripes on the undershirt there. Nice pattern on the tie. Belt. Looking good. Decent enough, Jeff Bridges. Uh, something's missing here. I don't know what it is. I mean, Jeff wasn't that, wasn't too old, but I mean, maybe some stubble on the skull. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it's, something's a little plain about the face. It's not 100% accurate, uh, but decent enough. Looking good. So this is a suited body. His head is on a hinge. Arms, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, what are these? Nice hinges there. Nice ab crunch. Waist. Out so far. Thigh cuts. Double jointed knees. So this is uh, older legs, reused legs. We see some pins. And then forward, back, all that stuff. And the other accessory he comes with is this briefcase, which you could throw the arc reactor in. It does open. It is packaged flat like that. There is nothing in it. No detail. Something would have been nice. You know what? I don't even know if this fits in there. Uh, it doesn't. So. I don't know what to do. Cool. Sorry, I was just comparing Obadiah to his Ironmonger suit. So let's bring that forward a bit. It is not in focus. There we go. There we go. So I think when Obadiah stands in front of it, it's like on chains, uh, maybe higher. But the scale is decent enough. I think, you know, in the film, he's like that. 
for putting the arc reactor inside. This is a fantastic piece. Look at that. Let's get a quick Tony Stark in here. Older Tony Stark figure, not the face print one that came from the last Infinity Saga set of figures, but whatever. Decent enough. Boom, again, Obadiah there with his Ironmonger. Looking fantastic. So Ironmonger himself does come with these sweet, sweet bullets. Look at that. I love how they just, it's, you know, it's coming in neatly and then they just fall and scatter. And this is very good. You can see there's a slit there. Goes right in. And it looks decent. Pretty good. The other accessory is this nice smoke effect. This is Ironmonger with the smoke effect. You could see a peg hole here and everybody's favorite effect piece. I'm pretty tired of seeing these. We've gotten these in multiple colors. Let's get something else. Boom. Cool. I guess. I do like the smoke as it's alone. You know, just have it there. Have it there. And have the bullets kind of jutting out of there. Of course, physics wise, that doesn't make sense. So, there we go. That would be a little better. Good shit. Does one have a hole? No. These are sculpted missiles inside. But yeah, let's get a look at the monger himself. Head. Whoops. Got too close to the camera there. Decent enough. Uh, let's, there we go. I'll just look at it like this. This looks awesome. Man, this looks cool. So you can see the white piece under there. So you get white shining through the eyes. I apologize for the cricket. Again, in the garage. Summer nights. Sean Solo. This looks good. Very, I mean, it's just, it's not as heavy as uh, like a Diamond Select figure. But it's solid enough. I mean, this is, it's not hollow. There is a clear glass piece there. So you can see that. That's pretty good. So you can see these, uh, these shoulder pads are like on a fake piston. Detail there. So they could come out and go in. So be careful with that. Uh, they might loosen over time the more you play with that. Man, these joints are smooth, man. Smooth joints. Nice single joint elbow there. He does come with an extra set of hands, so you can see he does come ow, in package. Damn, those missiles like scraped the hell out of my knuckle there. So we'll pop these off easy enough. Get the open hand. Looks good. There we go. Focus is an issue in this video. I don't know why. But this looks good. Nice. Look at that. Good stuff. Let me lock this in. There we go. Legs. So it supports that. You know, they're, they're ratcheted to support his top heavy body. This is good. Look at that. Single jointed. You have all these pistons everywhere that don't obviously don't function it's not a high-end figure i mean it is for marvel legends but aesthetically it works it looks good i can't get this piece to rest naturally anymore so this goes up here he this is a separate piece and it comes out of the package but you can see it rotates uh, it's not even on camera let's start let's try this again so this missile here separate piece in the package it's like in the back there but it rotates nicely add it to your arsenal Looking good. Again, height-wise, fantastic. Iron Man, fantastic. So. Looks good, decent enough. Uh, at this point, I mean, God, this was a 2008 film, so I don't know if a lot of us had hopes uh, that we would have gotten an Iron Monger figure from the first MCU film, but here we are, fantastic. Looking good. Just real quick, wanted to compare him to another 
giant, but comic. Uh, actually, not comic, sorry. Another MCU big piece, and of course it will be the Hulkbuster, which is still a bigger figure. So, look at that. Looking good, looking blurry, now in focus, but I mean, the Hulkbuster is still a beast of a figure compared to this Ironmonger, but wow, awesome. And then, uh, just for kicks, I threw uh, Maestro in here from the last Marvel Legends video I did that nobody watched a few guys so looking good big beefy figures my favorite type of figures this is fantastic uh let me know are you all in on the infinity saga i think i am uh next review i'll try to keep that like thor themed odin and uh, surter and then maybe a couple other figures thereafter i'm really looking forward to the bro thor i missed gamestop sale on that Sad. I missed it on Walmart. I just have to wait for these pre-orders to come through. I did get an email from Hazard Pulse saying it was delayed till September, so that sucks. Hopefully I can find it maybe at Frankincense or something like that, but this is a fantastic bunch of figures. So Obadiah Stain, Iron Monger, 2-pack, plus Tony Stark, Iron Man Mark III, Solo. Thank you for watching as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you again soon.